welcome to the start of today's video. We're going to be working on the Falcon today, of course, because we messed up pretty bad, as you saw in one of the previous videos. We, we hit a curb going sideways, and that led to some broken arms. So here we are, stitched up. Got some broken front and back arms that we need to go get from the wreckers. So we're going to be making a trip to the wreckers today. We've just got the car jacked up in the air so we can see exactly what's wrong with it and exactly what tools we're going to need to bring to the wreckers. And I want to get this thing fixed ASAP because I pay registration on it. And of course, I want to drive this thing. I haven't driven it in like two to three weeks. Time to get down and dirty. Here's a better look at uh, what we bent. I don't know if you can see there, but this arm is supposed to be straight. It is on a massive, <laughs> it's been it's been impacted kind of hard. So we're going to need to replace that arm definitely. There's also another arm located on the top there. So that arm's probably gonna need to be replaced. Yeah, not, not the best sort of situation to be in, but it is what it is, you know? You can see the kink in that arm right there. Holy moly, man. <laughs> Goddamn pain in the ass. We're gonna take the wheel off as well, just to make sure that nothing else is broken. <sighs> so let's go. Doesn't look like this arm at the top right here is bent, but we can't tell because it's already got a natural bend in it. Um, but who knows? It probably it probably is. So it's just insurance replacing it. This one doesn't seem too hard to get to. No, not not too bad. But yeah, let's see what we uh what else we can replace. All right, just started the Camry up. Hopefully we have all the right tools so we can take off all those arms and not have to come back home and get more tools because that's usually what happens. Yeah. Goddamn Falcon! Just arrived at the wreckers. Let's go. Got to pack up all my tools into this bag because I was lazy. Should have done it when I was at home. It takes a lot of effort, you know. Falcons, as far as the eye can see. Have a sus. Here's an AU. It's got the parts we need to. Just had a quick look at it. We hit the wreckers, by the way. And it seems like these are the arms that I'm going to be able to take. There's uh, not a lot of room to be working underneath this thing, but these arms look mint. The axle is out and the brakes are off, which makes it so much easier to get to everything. So we're going to take these arms out, hopefully with no issues. I'm going to have to get under the car, which is a little bit, a little bit sketch, but you, know, you got to do what you got to do, you know? Damn, look at this AU, bro. It's freaking slammed. Damn. I always come and see if there's any other little bits that I need, but it doesn't look like there's anything crazy that I need. Wow, look at this. It's got, is that ABS? I don't know. The internals of a mighty AU Falcon, single overhead cam in tech. Have a sus. Have a sus. Eh, that'll buff out. Alright. That's one arm. Looking pretty good. Oh my god. All right, second arm, come on. Hey. All right, sweet. I think we have everything that we need. We've got this arm, the lower arm, and the top arm right here. We've also got the included hardware um, that comes from factory from these things. So we should be able to just bolt this up straight away as soon as we get home. Now, I'm not too sure if I should take the sway bar as well because like that's also bent on my car. If worst comes to worst, then we'll just come back. This car's very nicely jacked up. So it's like really high in the air so I can easily access it. And I doubt anyone's gonna come back here to get a uh, AU Falcon rear sway bar. <laughs> Sick. Let's get home. Hopefully, oh my God, just smacked my Camry. <laughs> Hopefully these fit. I was reading this thing about toxic personality traits, about like treating yourself like too many times. That's me. Like every time I come to the wreckers, I treat myself with a boba tea because it's so close to Springvale, which is where I usually go to get some food and some boba. But we're gonna go somewhere different today because it's on the way home. Get some boba tea because we worked pretty hard for that. Damn boy, that was a lot of effort. All right, let's get some boba. Some boba. Can I get a uh, Royal Pell Milk tea? Yes, hello. Right, yep. Mmm, boba tea. 100% Dong Cha does the best boba tea. The best part about it is the balls because they're like chewy and they're delicious. If you think share tea or cha time are better than Gong Cha, in terms of the boba, the actual boba, unsubscribe. 
I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah, I, I reckon this one's the best. All right, so we made it home. We're gonna get right into the work and uh, start removing the live rear axle. Uh, that means I have to remove the arms on both sides. It's gonna be a bit of a pain, but nothing that I haven't really done before. I mean, I've never done this before, but it doesn't seem like too bad of a job. It looks like I need to remove just both of the arms on either side, then probably the bolt that connects the strut on here. I'm also really hoping that we didn't ruin the, the lowered shocks because they did cost some money and hopefully this hopefully this accident doesn't cost me too much money because at the end of the day thing is supposed to be a cheap beta car and the last thing we want to be doing is spending thousands and thousands of dollars on this thing. Two hours later. All right let me just pause this music over here. We have Kai here and before we continue we've taken the arms out and I want to get your reaction Kai because this is the before and after. What are right. we looking at? I got the new arm and yeah. the old arm. Okay. So the. I can come with you? Yes. Come over here. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, bro. Yes. It's like spaghetti. It is. Oh, oh I see. Chuck You're it next right. to the uh, other arm. Damn. Oh, yeah. yeah you, right. can, you can see that. Mm, yes. Mm, mm. Very, very bad. So that's like where the whole diff is just like pushed in that yes. way, yeah? Yes. Oh, mm. wow. so I got this this morning at the Wreckers, yep. and now we're here. Pretty average, isn't it? It is. Uh, we're making wow. some progress. I've taken both arms out. The top one I'm just left on the, the live rear axle side, so it's disconnected from the body. I'm just hoping that none of the body stuff is bent. I'm like 90% sure that most of the force which happened closer to the live rear axle um, took it all, took all the force. So hopefully this is the problem and nothing down there is the problem otherwise. It looks like that's pretty straight compared uh, like I towards the so. end. Does it have a subframe? Can that bend or not? This, it pretty much is the subframe, the okay. library. All right, well then you should be all right. We have Peter yeah. behind the camera. You want to say hello? Hello, hello. <laughs> um, and we got Kai working on my car. I don't, know, I don't know how I baited Kai to do this. Yeah, I don't know, it's something to do. I'm gonna have to buy him dinner. <laughs> but yeah, this is so fucked up. Watch out, Kai! Oh. Coming through. Oh. All the exhaust is not. Oh shit. New technique. Smack, smack. Smack her out. Oh, bro, she's coming. Do you want an AU? No, not Why? after today. Why? Because uh, I was swearing more than I ever have in my life trying to get one of those bolts out. <laughs> and I'm not happy right now. So. But oh. we got the brake helper off, so that's good. Yeah. What's up, thick boys? Thick boys. Density. Density. <laughs> Look at it, feel. Fuck. I wonder if this thing actually even spins. Oh, she's fucking seized, oh, bro. No. <laughs> this site is just done. Bro. Can we pick it up, all, all of us? Do you already yeah, have the gears? It's pretty light. Pretty light. Yeah. Uh, is that where you? Are they already in? Up? Nah. So I gotta, I gotta suss the other side first. Oh. <laughs> what do you think, bro? Oh, bro, it's cactus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I try to uh, turn the, the middle piece where the tail shaft goes and the thing does not move at all, which is a bad sign. Uh, means it's means it's fully seized. Poor AU. Poor AU. Yeah, so I guess we created so much heat on this side that it seized this side up, which is obviously not what you want. Yeah, that wasn't too bad though. Well, I've taken off all the little arms that were on it. Now it's time to show you what we got. We got a Peter. Let's go see it. <laughs> <laughs> I managed to find myself a 3.5 uh, to 1 ratio LSD from a Series 1 XR6. Here it is. Have a sus. Yeah, it literally looks like the standard one that we just pulled out, but it has different numbers here. Instead of having WA4AC, it's got WA4CC. And on here, it's also written 3.45. Um, it looks like someone's like scribbled over it. And it, like, I'm not too sure if it is 100% a 3.45 diff, but that's what the guy told me. So we're just gonna have to just go with it. It does already come with some Monroe, Monroe shocks, but they look seized and done anyway, because look at this. Yeah, that's not coming back up. <laughs> it's pretty pretty messed up. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is take these shocks out, take some of the rubber bits out, remove the ABS lines. I'm not even gonna bother cleaning this thing up because I just want it in the car. And I'm gonna throw it in. I was thinking of maybe just trying the LSD before I go ahead and weld it. Apparently these LSDs are a little bit are a little bit lazy. So, you know, it might be kind of a shitty LSD and it might not actually lock up both the wheels when we do try to peel it out. Who knows? I can't put a spool in it. I have to weld it as well. At least that's what I've been told. So I guess we'll see how we go. Sick mods. <laughs> Bam! Damn! Oh! All right, 
we're done putting the AU Falcon uh, 3.45 LSD in there and it's in. Just need to tighten some arms down. The guys have already left and we're gonna go head over to Tristan's place. It's just one of those days where we have just so much going on. The reason why we're going to Tristan's place is because he's gonna help me shorten the fuel line that goes to the fuel pump. You can see the gap between here. In order to get this all lined up, we need to like get like a weird hose down and up. And to fix that situation, what we do is we can cut here. We can make a little lip right there so we can put another hose on here, if that if that makes sense. Oh, I didn't put my battery, God damn it! All right, we are here. Say hello to Turbo Tristan. What's up, everyone? What's going on? Ah, uh, just got home from work and about to play with some Jay Z stuff. Oh, Jay Z stuff. Ooh. Yes. And so I want to have a look at this thing because you know you've had plenty of work done to it since. Damn, I actually really rate this. Do you think it's too ricey? It is a little bit, but I think fake. Forged carbon is better than fake carbon fiber. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon, I reckon it's good. Damn, oh yeah. I like this color theme that you've been doing, Tristan, this like highlighter theme. I, I think I, I messaged you plenty of times saying, I think this is pretty nice. Yeah. Kind of want to replicate it. Stole a little bit of the idea from Throttle. Um, oh so yeah, true. They, they, like they did the same thing on their Civic, didn't they? Like something similar. Yeah, they did. And that's where I kind of got the idea for this as well. Oh, that's nice. Damn, look at that. It's hard to believe that you're, uh, you're getting rid of this thing. It's for sale. If you want to buy it, hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird filming around someone that like also does YouTube. Yeah, you, you guys need to subscribe to Turbo Tristan, of course. I'm nearly there. I'm nearly at my goal. His 10K. goal is 10K. Can we get him there? End of the year? Oh my God. Dude, that, looks, that looks insane. Touch it. Oh. Touch how silky that is. Oh, and you did this yourself? Damn. You're gonna have to give me some tips because I really, really hate painting. Yeah, no, it's pretty easy. The results make it pretty uh, satisfying when it comes out like that and it's all silky smooth. I changed Just attention all the to detail. To the cap head, stainless steel. Wow. Hex bolts. That's sick. All right, we've got a bit of a flare happening here. Not the craziest amount, but not too bad. That should be good enough for the hose to, to clamp on. We're gonna go for a ride now in the Civic. Honda Civic. If you guys have been following my channel for a while, you know that I'm like a Civic guy at heart. I really want myself a Civic and I'll probably get one, not gonna lie. We'll see. I just feel like Civics are really overdone right now on YouTube. So maybe you guys don't want to see a Turbo Civic. I don't know. Dude, what is this thing? Uh, it's a controller for the sub, which doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> Dude, it's pretty good. <laughs> Just gotta be careful of third because uh, it's Honda a bit sketch. Hon <laughs> Honda's in third gear every time. It feels like I'm going like 150 k's an hour, but really we're doing the speed limit. That's why I love Honda so much. Feel Ooh, a bit of a backfire. Uh, it pops and crackles. <laughs> Skunk 2. Copy max peating rods intake and coilovers, front and rear sway bars, big brakes. Yeah, Dude. it's all been modernized. It's got the Integra poor man's brake upgrade and Mini Cooper rotors. Yeah, how do the brakes go? I won't, I won't stomp on them too hard. But... Yeah, you can. They're going to get hammered on the weekend. They should be True. fine. What pads are you running? Uh, Protex. Just um, a slight upgrade, but nothing, nothing racy. The changeover. Give it some lim lim. Lim lim. Here we go. Just gotta make sure I get in third. Fuck. <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, burn. The brakes are good. Oh, <laughs> I'll get one one day. It could be yours. 
sale. Ooh, it's for sale next week. Somebody buy it. Just come outside to conclude today's video. Thank you all so much for watching and thank you Tristan for letting me drive his Civic. The AU is uh, it's gonna be in jack stands until the next video. We're gonna try button this all up. I've got some things happening next video. It's actually the day of the next video. That's the day that I'm gonna film the next video if that, if that makes sense. Because we're trying to get into this daily vlog routine and prepare for December. But AU is gonna be done very soon and a bunch of shenanigans are gonna uh, occur. So yeah, stick around. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, chuck us a like. Subscribe if you want to. Thanks. See you later. Peace out. Got our arms.